G'day guys. Aquaglide Mackenzie 125. Everybody's coming to watch. Inflatable double kayak. Now this is not something we rushed into. We've been thinking about doing this for years actually. A lot of research went into it. We finally committed here in Australia and we've bought an Aquaglide Mackenzie 125. Now we've got no affiliation with this product. I'm gonna unbox it today, set it up, and give you guys my thoughts. Had to be inflatable because obviously we don't have a roof rack on top of the camper, and if we did, it would cover the solar panel, so we just couldn't do that. Super lightweight. First thing I've noticed on this pump, now the pump is actually made by another company called Advanced Elements. This one weighs, uh, from memory, 13 kilograms. Fold it up, the kayak itself. It's rated to 270 kilograms of total weight, and that's including your passengers. There we go, look at that. So there's the kayak itself, the entire thing is, is, is inside this backpack. As you can see, it's not tiny, but it's, it's, not, uh, it's not overly large either. Walked around the house and in the backyard, and it's very comfortable to wear. We figured uh, getting something that packs up into a backpack, we're not always gonna be launching this thing right next to the car and sometimes uh, we might wanna hike a little bit, whether it's on a beach or up a river. Let's have a look at it. So I'll set those up later. That's the chairs. All right, so there we have it, straight out of the box, out of the plastic and rolled out. First impressions, looks very, very good quality. Now, I mean, I've done a lot of kayaking over the years. This is the first inflatable kayak that I've personally owned. Very impressed so far with the, the quality of the connections here. Seems very well made. There's even a little spring release uh, valve here. So I guess you can push that in to release pressure. Quarter turn, I like that as well. Quarter turn and you can feel it lock into place there as I, uh, as I screwed in the nozzle. From the time I connected the first air nozzle, it took me exactly 6.2 minutes to inflate the kayak this time included the fitment of a single seat. In disconnecting the air nozzle, the one-way check valve prevents any air from escaping. The kayak looks absolutely awesome. I'm, um, I'm really impressed with the, with the build quality of it. I've crawled all over it now. The paddles, here they are. They're in uh, one of them. As you can see, they come in, a, uh, in two pieces like that, which is ideal for us. I didn't want one solid paddle because we don't have the room to store it. So by breaking it down into in half like this, it's adjustable length, so I could get the same one for me and Steph. So I'll put these together. It seems, I don't know, it looks a bit flimsy to me, the, uh, the connection here. Now these are Aquagl Aquaglide uh, paddles. I'll put, give you a close up of that. That's the, uh, the connection. They do have an arrow with some markers here, which means that your two paddles, your two oars themselves, are gonna be in the correct alignment, because you don't wanna have to guess that. And these are little things that a company should think of, seems like these guys have. Okay, so I've set the seat up. Took me a little bit of time to figure this one out as well. That seems quite simple in the end and actually quite a good design. We've got the, uh, the D-rings here, which do run all the way along on both sides. So you can have uh, multiple seat positions, obviously, to suit yourself as a solo paddler or for two people when we put the other seat in. You've got gear loops. Uh, you've got them running all the way along as well. They can obviously be used to secure equipment if you're going to take equipment with you in a dry bag and also for the seats so they run all the way along as well just some some simple little um buckle clamps there that feels very very comfortable i have to say there we go <laughs> i think i need to get this thing in the water all right guys i've just got back from that initial paddle on the mckenzie 125 Aqua Glide Double Kayak, Inflatable Kayak, and <laughs> that's the name of it. Again, no affiliation with this company, um, just an honest opinion, first go at it, and I'm impressed. It's a very nice kayak. It seems um, super good quality. My first inflatable kayak I've owned, as I mentioned before, yet to put it to any sort of serious test. I just went for a little lap around the canals here in my mum and dad's suburb, uh, very stable water. There's a little bit of chop out there and it handled it well. On first impressions, I, I do have to say that thing is stable. It's super stable, but you saw how big it is in saying that, 
having that extra stability comes with less speed. So but that thing, it's a massive pontoony shaped inflatable kayak. It's not built for speed. It was built, it was bought, I should say, because of the fact it can carry a heavy load. We wanna use this thing for multi-day sort of expeditions uh, in Australia and maybe take this thing with us when we leave Australia and, and around the world. We wanna get in the ocean and the rivers. This thing apparently, and I've watched YouTube videos, can handle up to grade three rapids on, uh, on rivers. So we can have some fun with this thing. Build quality seems really good. One thing I will mention about the paddling, I said before, I, I have done a lot of kayaking in my life and uh, surf ski paddling. I grew up doing uh, surf life saving, so done quite a bit, a little bit of experience. It's very wide, so that makes the, the paddling very awkward. You can't, you can't get right down. I'm used to being able to paddle and get that paddle right down next to my body, but you can't do that on this thing. The fin went in very, very well. Um, Nice simple design, it's just got a little uh, back plate nut that slides up inside a groove. You slide the fin into position and tighten this little, um, this little screw up. A kayak, along with anything else that you've used in salty water, should be rinsed thoroughly with fresh water before putting back into storage. Remove all of the uh, protective caps. I forgot to mention that it does have, which is very important, and they've got a little rubber seal on them as well some protective caps to go over the inflation points. And as you can see, there's a lot of pressure in there. Three, not a lot, <laughs> three PSI, but it's a lot for this volume. Um, I'm gonna push this in and turn it and that'll automatically release the air. Maybe, there we go. <laughs> Lock that in, I'll do the same for the center. All right, so I've got my pump. I'm gonna disconnect from the inflate side, spin the pump around and connect this to the deflate side. I'll hook up and see if I can't suck all the air out, get this thing nice and compressed, fold it up, see if I can remember how to put it back in the backpack. All right, well that worked extremely well. I'm impressed with that deflation mode on the air pump. I'm gonna now uh, fold it up. It's still got the crease lines in it, so I should, be <laughs> I should be okay to fold this thing up the way it came out of the backpack. Put it back in the backpack. That's it, packed up. So I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with that, that was pretty easy. Overall, I would say that yeah, I'm extremely happy with the purchase and uh, there'll be probably some follow-up videos to come on this one as we uh, put this thing to the test in rivers and take it into the ocean. We're not gonna do anything too crazy, but we have got some pretty cool stuff planned once we hit the south coast of Western Australia. Stay tuned for more adventures. If you got any experience with inflatable kayaks or um, knowledge that you'd like to share with us, we are beginners in the whole inflatable kayak world, uh, please leave a comment below. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff, uh, we'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.